Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Place. In this week's episode, we've got five of the best clips that I've had sent in over the past couple of weeks from Battlefield 1. If you do enjoy, please leave a like down below and let me know what your favourite clip was in the comments. Starting us off today at number one, we have a clip sent in from Ica Niz. He's going to be playing on Argon Forest with the Assault class, looking to take out the enemy armoured train that's camping on the centre of the map. Covering the Bravo objective, he needs to get this train out of here. He does with his anti-tank grenades, picks up a huge amount of score and kills. And as you noticed at the beginning of this clip, he drops some dynamite. He then activates it, gets a whole load of kills and goes on an aggressive push using his M1918 Automatico. A very, very nice clip. The way that he takes out the train, he's careful with his dynamite, make sure it's placed in the perfect position. 48 seconds long with over 4,000 points. A fantastic effort. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Logan Berry. He's going to be playing with the SMLE Mark III on Ballroom Blitz on a game of operations, looking to take out as many enemies as possible. He does just that to start the clip out, takes out quite a few on the top of the balcony here. In my opinion, I'm not a fan that you can get up onto the balcony on Ballroom Blitz during these sort of games. I feel as if, especially in front lines, that you can have an unfair advantage and just camp there. Also, being a hindrance to your team when you move on to the next objectives. Nonetheless, he's doing a very good job of being up here, taking out multiple enemies. He then takes a hit, has to take cover behind part of the structure here before pushing down. Unfortunately, he only gets an assist count, so killing that guy. He was about to no-scope him in the face. Goes on an aggressive push. He does have his Obrez with him. Again, one-shot capability at close range. Gets the one-shot on this guy who's aggressively pushing him. Then takes out one, make that two with his Obrez. A fantastic push. Eight players in total taken down. A very nice clip. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Sao Player. He's going to be playing on Sinai Desert with the Russian 8095 in the Scout class. He's going on an aggressive push, and I'm very, very impressed with the clips this guy sends in as he seems to be deadly accurate with anything in the sniper class. The headshot on that moving player in the distance was absolutely dirty, then gets another kill with his M1911 as he pushes Bravo objective. You may have noticed in his previous clips that he sends into the top plays, he is deadly and aggressive, takes out multiple enemies and isn't afraid of missing a shot. He's more interested in taking enemies down and making sure that he's capping the objective in the process. Enemies in the distance haven't done a good job of pushing him. He's taken them all down. A really, really nice clip, especially that last part where he takes out multiple onrushing enemies. Unfortunately, doesn't actually get a hit on the final guy. I thought that could have been a possible collat as we slow it down to watch it again. It's a great clip overall and a very, very nice objective play. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Tuna Fish. He's going to be playing with the Martini Henry infantry variant. This weapon is incredibly hard to rack up kills with, especially kill feeds. And he does that multiple kill feeds throughout this little clip. A very, very nice clip as well. He's actually got himself on the roof here on a game of domination, which is a very, very impressive position to be in as long as your team are holding two of the three flags because all you have to do then is take out more enemies than they take out of you and hold the position. They're going to be spawning on Charlie flag. You can do exactly what he's doing here and just mow them down. He's in the sweet spot range too, which is absolutely perfect for this weapon. A whole load of kills, a fantastic clip. He also sent in another clip, and in this one he's using the Shosha Telescopic. Sitting on the side of Amion here, he's going on a very aggressive push through the doorway, a whole load of players taken down. The Shosha is a weapon that I don't really see used enough. I'm not actually sure how effective the weapon is. I'd be interested to see if any of you in the comments have used this weapon. Obviously, in the hands of this guy, it's a beast, and he takes out multiple enemies, completely closes down this part of Charlie Flag. An objective play too, which is fantastic to see on Battlefield 1. A really, really nice clip. Finally today, we've got a clip sent in from Devartan. He's going to be playing on Suez with the SMLE Mark III going on a very, very nice kill feed. I find kill feeds in Battlefield 1 difficult to pull off because the point streak disappears a lot quicker. 
BF1, although it is slightly easier to get kills on enemies, get hits on enemies, especially with that sweet spot, it is just easier to rack up a kill feed. This one's quite nice, thought I'd include it at the end. Thanks for sending it in. If you do have any Battlefield 1 clips that you think are exceptional, please send them into the top plays. We haven't had a whole load of Battlefield 1 stuff sent in, so I've tried to group them up into one episode instead of splitting them out between others. If you do enjoy, please leave a like down below. Make sure you keep an eye out for the Sunday and Wednesday episodes of the top plays as they're out twice a week now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.